Hello again, folks. If there's one person Joe Biden will be thanking this week, it's Will Smith for taking him off the front pages and out of the headlines. And here it was, in case you missed it, the moment the Oscars went south and very fast. <laughs> oh, wow! Wow! Even though Will Smith originally laughed at the gag, he clearly changed his tune. His wife Jada has struggled with alopecia in the past, an awful hair loss condition, and she didn't appreciate the joke. So rather than just not laugh at it and maybe say something later, Will got up on stage, slapped the host, Chris Rock, verbally abused him, then returned to his seat and sat there as if nothing had happened. Then in what became compulsive viewing, Smith won the best actor gong, the highest point of his career, and doubled down with platitudes. I want to be a vessel for love. I want to be an ambassador of that kind of love and care and concern. I had no interest in watching these awards. I never do. But especially not this year, because with the world the way it is, the virtue signalling would have ended me. But this act of unhinged petulance will be talked about forever. It'll follow Will Smith around for the rest of his career and surely spells the end of the Oscars as a marquee event. Two points on this. Hollywood's contradiction was there for all to see. It likes to talk about peace and love. Will Smith even referred to it. Yet in the same window of time, he committed a violent act. Point two. Here is proof of just how out of touch Hollywood is with reality at a time of war and high inflation, where more people are struggling to get by, when many can't even afford a ticket to go to the cinemas. Actors go and make an event all about themselves and then claim to be victims and applaud themselves for it. And an extra point here for good measure on the subject of comedy and where the line is, because someone somewhere is always offended by comedy. Ricky Gervais once said, please stop saying you can't joke about anything anymore. You can. You can joke about whatever the F you like. Some people won't like it and they will tell you they don't like it. And then it's up to you whether you give an F or not. And so on. It's a good system. I'm not sure Gervais had a physical act of violence in mind, though, when he referred to someone not liking a joke. The Oscars ratings have been sliding for years and initially, I must admit, I thought the Smith slap was a desperate setup to revive those ratings. But the effect will be the opposite. Smith didn't just assault Chris Rock live on television. He may have inadvertently driven the final nail in the Oscars coffin. But at least one person will be happy about this. Because as long as we're talking about Hollywood, Joe Biden knows we're not talking about him. Thanks for watching. See you next week.